Hey friends, it's your friendly neighborhood Wickety here. We are back at the chickadee farm and it is the uh, the seventh day of spring. It is Sunday. So we should have <laughs> the traveling merchant again today. What's our weather like tomorrow? Still sunny. And good luck. So we should probably hit the mines and get some more iron, more gold, more everything. <laughs> Got a couple things to water. And let me drop this wood off. I am going to be planting some of these pine clones real quick because I would like to make sure that I have a constant flow of wood. That's why I cleared that side area over there. Hmm. We're gonna be in the mine, so we'll do some smelting. I'll bring those with us. Okay, let me get my basic chores out of the way, do some watering, take care of our crab pots, and I think I'm gonna make another recycling machine also, just so I can keep things rotating and maybe get some more coal. Got a lot of trees we can clear up today. Hi, you dog meat. Oops. There you go. Robin's still working hard. On our barn. Still no purple mushrooms. Okay, we're doing okay on hay. Still just regular old eggs. Maybe I should pick up some more chickens here soon. Now, before I see what the traveling merchant has for us today, I'm just gonna plop these pine cones into the ground and do just a quick little clear on my way over there. Eventually, I wanna get this whole area filled up with treats so I can work on getting excessive amount of wood. <laughs> and that way I don't have to worry about it too much anymore. Alrighty, Miss Merchant, what do you have for me today? Ooh, cracked bars for 500. Ugh. I can just make those. And they only sell for 60. Yeah, uh, I think that I'm good. Oops. Um, what else do we have? Tulips, pickles, melon seeds, uh, poppy. We're growing some right now, so I don't need that. Oh, a Christmas tree. Hmm. Nothing really catching my interest. Hard pass. No, thank you. I was thinking of going to the secret woods, but I kind of want to just get a hustle on it and go to the mines and start working on collecting all of the goodies that I need. So we can get working on crafting a whole bunch of stuff. I'm really hurting for some iron bars so I can make a whole bunch of crab pots. And a few other things. Ooh, got a couple of snacks to take with us too. Let's see what I have. Gold bars. Okay. Not too bad. Hmm, where am I going to start today? So of course I'm gonna start making iron bars right now. Only make so much though. Really hurting for some iron ore. From what I remember, I'm also really close to the bottom of the mines. So, hmm, I think I'm actually going to go to the bottom of the mines first and then probably pop back up and work on farming the iron levels. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That way I can also stock up on getting some extra coal too. Cause you never can have too much of that. First up, off to the bottom of the mines. We are off to, yep, I got everything I need. Level 110, so I've got 10 more levels to go to get there. Where 
are just hitting these levels five floors at a time. Ooh, diamonds on this floor, which is awesome. Oh, and another one. Nice. And five floors down. So we pop back up and work on setting up and making some more bars. And then we got five more floors to go until we hit the bottom. Now I am crafting copper bars right now instead of the other ones just because they take the least amount of time. So by the time I get to the bottom of the mines, they should be ready for me to switch them out for the next one. Hop on this Autumn's Bounty real quick because energy was getting a little low. And that way these guys don't hit me so hard. Enemies are pretty tough down in these levels. the bats are fine. One step closer to getting that reward on the monster eradication goals. All right, off to level 120. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> we have hit to the bottom of the mines. Journal is updated and we have the Skulky! Woohoo! Don't know what it does. But we shall find out. That's our goal in life, is to find the purpose of everything. Who needs pictures of kids in your wallet when you can just have a Skulky? <laughs> Alright, let's pop on up and not dilly dally down here. We'll whip up some more bars. Hmm, actually, before we leave, I kind of want to whip up a few more iron bars, but I don't really have any iron to do it with, so I'll have to pop down to the iron levels and get as much as I can, at least enough to make a couple of bars. Alrighty, this floor gave us just enough to make three bars, so we'll pop back up and whip those up real quick and head on home. It's getting late. Let's see if I have everything I need. Gotta get that upgrade on my backpack eventually. <laughs> uh, we'll see. There's so many other things I would rather be spending my money on. Love that we got quite a few diamonds today too. Ooh, maple syrup, nice. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, am I gonna donate this one or not donate it, put it in the bundle or am I gonna use it to make a beehive? I know I'll be getting more maple syrup here soon, but I don't have a beehive and I need to get some honey too. Hmm, let me think. Probably a better idea to turn it into a beehive because I'll be getting some more maple syrup from that other tree, but I'll just toss it in my gold box and decide on that later. <laughs> Drop a few things off here and it's off to bed for me. Good night, dog meat. Good night to all of you. I'll see you tomorrow. Ooh, and a level up in mining. Nice. Transmute to gold. Okay. And we made just a little bit of money because I just threw a couple of things in the box for Lewis to pick up in the morning. <laughs> well, we at least got to the bottom of the mines. Can knock that off our list. It's the eighth day of summer. It is a Monday and weather tomorrow. Come on, give me a lightning storm already. Beautiful and sunny, just fine. We got our sprinklers. Um, fortune we have. Ooh, a red skull, not so good. Living on the land is chatting about some corn stuffs. All right, let's see if we have anything to harvest. Hmm, doesn't look like it just yet. Maybe some coffee beans though. I'll pop on my watering can. Oh, and I have another tree to put a tapper on. So that's fantastic. Grab some copper bars for that too. 
so we can make that and keep our resins and syrups and saps going. Keep those tree juices flowing. <laughs> Alright, enough lame jokes. Let me get this taken care of, get our crops watered, and pop this tapper onto this tree. Then I'll take care of my crab pods and check on our chickens, see if we have some large eggs yet. Come on, Brenna and Patrick, I believe in you. And yeah, take care of the rest of the stuff that we have today. Well, good morning, dog meat. How you doing? Oh, our barn is finished too. Yay, that means I can pick up some cows. We got our chickens hanging out in the field. I really should clean up all this extra debris eventually. And good old regular tasty eggs. When you eat the eggs, do you eat it straight in the shell? I was always wondering about that. It sounds really crunchy. Oh, it's Monday, isn't it? I don't even think Marnie is open today. Why is she never open when I need her to be? I want to pick up some cows. Come on. <sighs> All right. Looks like I'm just going to have to find something else to do. Thanks, Marnie. But today is Gus's birthday, so I'll make sure to stop over and visit him and give him a nice present. I'm feeling pretty generous today, and I have quite a few diamonds, so I'm going to give him one of these. He, sh he should feel pretty special after that. <laughs> And even though it is a bad luck day, I'm still going to be hitting the mines because, well, I don't have to worry too much about getting ladders right now. We've already gotten to the bottom and I'm not in Skull Cavern, so I'll be okay. We'll be okay in the mines as long as we keep on our toes and I'm going to be gathering some iron ore because that's what I'm most poor for <laughs> at the moment. Um, at least kind of go spelunking for a few hours until I can give Gus his gift. Right, pop some more iron ore into the smelters. I found a few good things down there, but nothing really to write home about. Grab this diamond so we can go to town. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of people around because it is a little bit later in the evening. So maybe I'll give some more of their gifts around too. And I've been thinking a little bit about marriage candidates. I don't think I will think about getting married until a little bit later, unless someone really speaks to me in the moment. We'll see. Nothing in the trash here. Alex and Haley are off, done selling ice cream because I guess nobody wants ice cream after 5 p.m. A nice summer evening. <sighs> so relaxing. Maple seed here and nothing in this trash. All right, birthday boy, I got something good for you. Nothing for you, Pam? Emily. Actually, um, let's give you this topaz. Heck yeah. All right. Hey, you guys. Two hearts with him. Go Gus, it's your birthday. Gonna party like it's your birthday. Yep. And you are shining bright like a diamond today. <laughs> you better appreciate that. That was expensive. Why can't I marry Gus again? 
He always feeds me such good things. <laughs> Next birthday we have is going to be Maru. I, did I save any strawberries? I might not have any. Hmm. I'll have to look in my inventory and see. But I know she loves those. But if I don't find any, hmm, well, I'll just maybe give her a diamond? Or I'll think of something else. We'll see. Still have plenty of time left to the day, so I'm gonna head back to the mines. Hmm, what level was I at anyways? Uh, let's do 50. Get some more iron. Hit up these dust sprites. Work on getting that monster eradication goal. Oh my gosh, I would love the burglar ring. And get some coal too. Now when I'm farming for ores, I like to hit to the even floors so that I can just go down one level and mine a couple of things and pop back up and not have to deal with finding a ladder on an elevator level. So that's what I'm doing at level 50 and then I think we're gonna go down for a little bit of gold ore too. Level 90 should do it. Um, oh wait, my energy is a little low. Let's fill this up too real quick because the gold levels tend to take a little bit more effort. Oh, oh, check out the lamps here, guys. I have found a mushroom floor. Yes. Oh, I hope I get some good mushrooms here today. Come on, Mama Wiggity needs some purple mushrooms. Could always use a couple of purple mushrooms here and there. Or some life elixirs, of course. Although the red mushrooms are worth quite a bit for selling, and I always tend to have a ton of those from my caves. Nope, I am not going to be going down that ladder yet, not until I plunder this entire level. Now you used to be able to farm these levels by hopping back up and hopping back down over and over again, but that did get patched out with the 1.4 update. But unfortunately, but also fortunately, it was way too easy to make money that way, to be honest. Looks like I just got red mushrooms. Hmm. Well, we can still do the um, ore mining farming method that way, though. By going up and going back down to the even level of your choice and then popping that down a ladder. And you should be able to have new ores, just like here. Oh, this one doesn't look too bad of a level. Definitely not a mushroom floor again, though. Just once per day. Oh, and there's some diamond over there. Nice. I might be able to give that to Maru after all. Alright, well, it's getting really late. It's already after one. Uh, what am I going to take? Probably sell these mushrooms, all of the golden, the silver quality ones, for some good money. And keep the regular ones for when I eventually make life elixirs and a couple other things. Hmm. Actually, I think I might just sell these ones because I do have quite a few red mushrooms in my mushroom cave box already. Yeah. Drop all this stuff off. Hold on to the diamonds for sure. If I eventually get a crystallarium, we shall see. And da -da 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 -da. sell all that stuff. Off to bed. Uh, we'll have to worry about jams, jellies, and pickles and all that stuff at a later time. It is too late right now. I don't want to pass out. And good night to all of you. No level up, so it's going to be a tough morning. <laughs> uh, but we made a little money. That's fine. All right, it's the ninth day of summer. And, ooh, what is it, Tuesday? Marnie's is still closed today, isn't she? Eh. Weather tomorrow, beautiful and sunny again, and fortune bats. Eh. You know what? It is fine. I'm going to make my luck the way I want it to be. I'm going to have a good day. Pick up those jams and jellies once I have something to switch them out with. A uh, letter. We have... Oh, Gus, and we are friends with him now because of his birthday gift. He must have really loved that diamond. 
no resins or syrups. We'll grab our watering can and get the rest of these things watered since the sprinklers are done doing their thing. Plenty of sunflowers. Definitely need to hold on to one of those for a bundle. And they're also really good for gifts too. I like that they give you seeds back. I wish I had enough seeds back from them to fill up all of the plots, but we'll just fill it with wheat instead. It's fine. That wheat's not ready yet, is it? Nope. Get these melons taken care of, and looks like all of my coffee plants are fully grown now, which is awesome. So I'll be getting a good supply of coffee beans from all of those. Oh, I gotta fix these sprinklers. <laughs> and plenty of peppers today too. Awesome. I'm gonna save our regular quality ones for recipes and turning into pickles. And then I save the gold ones for gifting to Shane and Lewis loves them too. Now for sunflowers, we do need one for a bundle and it's a great gift to give to Haley, especially if you're trying to get a little extra friendly with her. Um, I'm sure there's other people who enjoy it too, but gold ones are usually good for giving for gifts. They give you a little bit extra, but she loves sunflowers so much that I usually just give her regular quality. Oh, and being that it is Tuesday, boy, would I love to be able to buy a cow right now. But all the gals are at Pierre's doing their workout regime today. So I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow for that. Oh, well. It's not too bad. We're doing pretty good um, progress-wise with the coop in the barn anyway. So I'm not that worried. We'll be able to get some milk definitely um, here pretty soon. After the cows grow to a uh, full uh, milking age. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Water for duck meat. Let's go check on our chickens. I'm sure they're roaming around because I left the door open. Oh, got some good mushrooms today. Some more L's. If only I could get those stinking purple mushrooms. Didn't have so much luck with the mushroom cave yesterday. Hmm. Oh, well. Hey, Brenna. What's up, Patrick? What do you have for me today? Good old regular white and brown egg. At least we can make some pretty good mayonnaise. One full heart with each of them. Mm. Honestly, we should be getting a large egg here pretty soon. It's usually once you get a little over a full heart with them. Oh, I'll just keep an eye on it. Maybe by tomorrow. That would be nice. Let's see if we have any nice ores or anything like that. Especially with the Four Corners Mine. Uh, not Four Corners Mine. The Four Corners Farm. Keeping this area clear makes it easier for you to spawn in. Ooh, chicken statue. Anyways, it makes it easier for you to keep uh, new ores and better ores to spawn in. So be sure to get rid of your gray rocks and your copper and all that too. Now I could just recycle all of these um, trash bits, but I want to keep at least one of each, especially with that new button that we get with the 1.4 update on PC anyways. That way I don't have to keep clicking stuff. I can just hit that one button and all my trash goes in. It's not that important that I get it recycled, but the convenience is really nice to me. Pop the mayo in. What else? I guess I will go mining for the rest of the day. Might as well get some extra ores. Just keep that going. That seems to be my day. Get my chores done and hit the mines. And say hello to nobody. <laughs> Back to the old grind. <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright, got some tasty gold bars, as Abigail might say. And these red fire quartzes, they'll give you three refined quartz bars for each, but I'm going to be saving up the rest for slime presses for when we eventually can make those. 
which I kind of feel for my character here. Wickety would definitely be <laughs> a slime breeder in this game. I want to see if you can breed some of the new colors too that are available in the quarry mine. That would be pretty cool. But today we're starting in the 80s so that we can just start working on getting some more gold ore. Yay. floor oh my gosh it's awesome look at the purple ones too nice oh and bats ah, gotta be careful gonna be strategic about this to get all of these mushrooms let's make a little room i think i'll have enough room for all as long as there isn't too many like higher quality ones It's only a little after 10, so I think I'll be able to pick up all of these without too much trouble, as long as the bats don't cause too much of an issue. Distract me. Stop. Go away. And you too, slime. I don't have time for you. I just want some mushrooms. I don't even care about that ladder, because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to escape. <laughs> Alright, mushroom, and I guess we'll get this bowl. Bats, 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 go away, please. You're keeping me from my foraging. Ah, perfect. Much better. I don't have time for you, slime. Go away. We are here for one thing and one thing only, and that is those purple and red mushrooms. Off you go. And this one, and this one, and this one. Mushroom, 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 and this one. Oh, it's getting late. Oh, and an iridium bar? Heck yeah! See, bad luck don't mean nothing. Oh, when it comes to monster loot drops anyways. I mean, it means a little for other things. I wonder if I can get another good floor. Well, emerald, that's not bad. Uh, let's make a couple more bars. Make a little room in my inventory because it's pretty full right now. Boop. Plop. 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 And... Um... Um... Good bars. Good mushrooms. Uh... What else? I should probably get some more iron ore, but that last drop from those shadow beasties are <laughs> making me feel pretty lucky. So, back to, uh, ooh, another mushroom floor. I was just gonna pop down real quick and see what else we could get real quick, but it looks like there is some mushrooms. Oh, wait. Guys, I'm not paying attention at all. It is already after one o'clock. But I can't, uh, I just can't leave without these, without these pretty things. Uh, uh ignore the slime wickety. Ignore it. Ignore it. Uh, let's trash that. Ooh, trash the sap, trash the fiber. Uh, I got this. Purple, purple, those are the important ones. Red, red. Go away, bat. Red, red. Uh, where can I pass out? Yep. Uh, mistakes were made. But was it worth it? I don't know. I'm not crying. You're crying. It's fine. Let's go back home. Uh, at least pass out on the farm? 
Come on. No. Now we made it to the bus stop. Hopefully Pam doesn't find us. Oh, but a level up in mining, so at least we'll have full energy tomorrow, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's what I get for feeling ballsy. I wonder how much that's going to cost us. I don't think we lose anything by passing out. It's just if you get knocked out. But I had a little bit of money on me, so that might be a hefty fine in the morning. Hopefully not too much. But we shall see. Yeah, I didn't lose anything in my inventory because I had these open spaces. Whew. Pretty sure that just happens when you get knocked out. Got our pickles and our jellies. Weather tomorrow. Oh, the luau tomorrow. Okay. And fortune teller. Good humor. All right, all right. Radish salad for our recipe. It is a rerun. All right, let's go check the damage in the mail. 477 gold. Actually, yeah, that's really not too bad at all. Ugh. It could have been a lot worse. And I have full energy and everything, so I'm pretty happy with that. Those mushrooms we found are definitely worth more than what I had to pay in a fine. Oh, I do have a uh, golden star cauliflower that I think I'm going to bring to the luau tomorrow. So that will be really good. I'll have to drop all these great mushrooms we picked up yesterday off at the um, cave that I have. Sell these things. And what are we going to put in the preserves? Um, yeah, peppers sound good to me. Pickled peppers are delicious. Got a lot of things to harvest today, too. I think my red uh, cabbage is done, too. Awesome. All right, let's get this um, harvested and watered. And taken care of. Now I have gone over this in my 23 tips video um, which I'll link below but if you take the harvestables for the season and turn them into seed packets it's actually sells for a lot more than selling all of the fruits and flowers and such individually uh, apart from winter I believe it is or iridium quality but I don't really have to worry about that just yet so selling the seeds it is and I'll save a few of the extra things for some gifts and whatnot oh gotta clear up some space again Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do just that. I'll clear up all of these crops and make a couple more chests, move one over towards where all my trees are and probably put my seeds in there and keep another one for my animals. Yeah. Oh, that'll help organize things just a little bit better. Hopefully. <laughs> we shall see. And our chickens are roaming about in the field today. Oh, it's Wednesday. That means Marnie should be- Oh, we've got our large eggs finally. Oh my gosh, thank you. Definitely not going to make mayonnaise with those. Perfect. That's fantastic. Oh, what's the right color for here? Yellow? Milk color. <laughs> I guess that'll work. Looks good for milk and eggs. Uh, let's check on our mushrooms real quick too. Nothing here, but we'll drop these in here. Nice. Purple mushrooms are going to be super helpful for later. Might sell these. Yeah, we'll sell these higher quality red mushrooms since I have so many regular quality. Wednesday the 10th. Uh, so it's Maru's birthday today too. So we'll grab something for her and pick up some seeds for these empty spots all over here. Might as well since we're going to be in town. And I have all these 
empty areas. Diamond, it is. Well, I do have some strawberries, but I have tons of diamonds. And I'm feeling generous, so maybe we'll give one to uh, Marnie too, since she's finally open today. <laughs> Gotta be able to get access to her bedroom. Eventually, so I can get those purple shorts. All right, let's go get me a cow. Oh, Doc Moon's all the way over there. I'll need to say hello to him a little bit later. Sweet peas around. All right, Marnie. What's going on? What's the word? How's it going? How are you? Oh, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. She is at no hearts with us. Here, this will make it a little bit better. You're welcome. And now that should bump us up a little bit, right? Just one. That's okay. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> All right, let's get our very first dairy cow. What do we got here? It is a white cow, perfect. And in keeping with the previous theme, I'm gonna keep naming my animals after my patrons. I don't think the full name will fit in here, but Cthulhu it is. Great, I'll send little Cthulhu to her new home right away. Perfect, got our very first cow in here pretty soon. We'll be getting some awesome milk, make some cheese. While I'm here, got some extra money, so I might as well pick up a second one. A white cow. I like to keep it all mixed up a little bit. Perfect. Get one of each. Not that it makes the milk any different, but... It's for me. All right, my next patron. Gabriella. All right, there we go. Gabriella's off to her new home right away also. Hooray. Oops, I almost forgot. I do need to pick up a milk pail. I can't name that one though. I don't really need uh, heaters or shears just yet. Not until it gets closer to winter time or I actually get a... Oh, hey, Elliot. Do I need to get shears for you? <laughs> or if I ever get a sheep, then I'll get some shears. But I usually just keep bunnies for wool anyways. Anything in here? Nope, nope. Leah's wandering around town. Probably headed to the beach again. Um, hmm. Let's pop in and... Oh, what's going on here? Hi, Wiggity. Hello. <laughs> what is going on? Why is it so empty in here? Oh, I'm just looking over last month's earning. And it's not looking very good, Wiggity. You are looking at an empty table. <laughs> oh, Pam, Pam. Hurt feelings don't pay the bills. There she is, the culprit. I'm awfully thirsty if you catch my drift. Uh, well, okay, Pam. <laughs> Gus shuffles nervously. Wickedy, what's going on here? Now, do I be a nice person? Let's see if she can read between the lines. Oh. Oh dear. Don't get mad at me. Well, I better pay off that tab then. She looked angry at me for mentioning that. Thanks, Wickedy. I, I didn't really do anything except say the truth. Maybe you should speak your feelings more, Gus. Anyways, stuffing today. Don't need any of that. Hmm, let's see. Check the trash at Granny's house. She's got some sweet algae for us. <laughs> 
and Maru. Where is she gonna be today? She, she's not nurse today. Uh, maybe she is up at her house. I don't think she works on Wednesdays actually. Now that I think about it, Demetrius is here, so she might not be in the lab. Maybe she's hanging out at her house or in her room. Hopefully not. I need to get in there. I need to give you some things. I'll pick up that spice berry in just a moment. But first, let's check on. Oh, good. She's right in the laboratory. Hey, girl. Frozen tears. Nice to know. Duly noted. Here is a diamond for you. I did remember your birthday. It is right on the calendar. Kind of hard to forget when it is plastered on the wall outside of the store. Well, I need to work on some other friendships, too. Maru isn't as important to me. Eh. I usually don't try to marry her. You're welcome, Robin. Hmm. The construct. Upgrading. What is it going to be? Maybe I should build a cabin. That's like basically easy storage. Oh, I really want to get a fish pond here soon, too. That shouldn't be too hard. Just mostly the money that I need to hold on to and not spend. Spice berry for me. Thank you very much. Ooh, Linus is over here too. What? Rocks. Well, rocks. Here, take this. Give me that sashimi recipe that I want so badly. Eh, someday. Note to self, when it comes to relationships with the villagers in Pelican Town, um, do better. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can remember what else I was going to be doing today. Oh, oh right, we have a bunch of empty plots at the farm, so I really need to pick up some seeds. Oh, hey, Lewis. Oh, no. It's closed today. Again? Closed on Wednesdays. Why do I always forget this all the time? Every time, every week, I always need seeds on Wednesday. It's fine. Everything's fine, guys. Vincent has a tough choice about whether or not to get dirty, Jasmine high, and Penny is teaching them things about stuff and life, and I'm just wandering around holding a spice berry over my head, doing a whole lot of nothing. What is in this trash can? Nothing. And how about this one here? Come on, give me something good. Also, empty air. And, well, trash too. <laughs> but none for me. One more spice berry for me, though. That's not too bad. All right, well, if I can't plant all those goodies, what am I gonna do? Hmm. Well, I could always plant these summer seeds. Uh, ugh. Oh, I know. I'll go say hey to my brand new cows and drop a couple of things off, do a little bit of organizing, and head up to the mines for the rest of the day. Uh, my luck is gold pyramid, so we should be okay for at least a little bit. It's already pretty late in the day, so probably not too long there, but might as well just get a little bit of extra resources while we're at it, right? All right, check out our brand new cows. Got Cthulhu right here and Gabriella. They're just babies for now. Ooh, it'll be nice when we can get some milk from the two of them. Start making some cheese. Let them kind of wander around a little bit. And yeah, I'll head back to the mines, I suppose. Got some gold bars all ready to be gathered, and we'll just make some more gold bars, I suppose. Mm, maybe I should pick up some iron ore, since we are completely out of that stuff.
And I will not make the same mistake today that I made yesterday. We are going to get out of the mines at a semi-reasonable hour. At least early enough to not have to pass out in the middle of the road or wherever. Oh yeah, it is just hitting one o'clock and we are out of here. It shouldn't take me an entire hour to walk from the minecarts to my bed, right? Wouldn't think so, but I guess it just depends on the day. <laughs> I drop all these goodies off. Got plenty of frozen tears for Sebastian, if we ever need it. But I might just sell them. Or keep them, yeah. I think you can use it for crafting something too, so maybe we'll use it for that. It looks like I accidentally brought my coal with me. I usually like to leave that up in the mines for crafting. There are some things that I could use it for. Okie dokie. Good night, dog meat. And good night to all of you. Anything good happen? No level ups? But quite a bit of money, so that's great, especially from those seeds, yeah. All right. Well, friends, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of The Chickadee Farm. Thank you again to all of my wonderful patrons who've been supporting me and keeping me caffeinated, and all my subscribers and everyone watching, keeping me motivated to do my best to get these out more frequently. If you are new to the Chickadee Farm, the playlist should be up in the corner so you can catch up and start from the beginning. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to keep up with all that I have in store. I hope you all are well and staying safe and cozy inside. I'm Wickedy, thanks for hanging out in the valley with me and I will see you next time.